What's up everybody, it's easy. Yes, I stutter through my first words every video. <laughs> in, in Legion of Many, awesome clan, I got my many too easy. In, in Legion, uh, got my main in our clan, Damage Inc. We got a, this video has a few replays from each clan. We had some great, great attacks this last war. Just got done with two wars. Uh, this first attack is from Double Down. One of the best players in, in Legion of Many. One of the best players I've ever seen. Um, great guy, great attack. He does a slap. He start, He does. I've seen him do this attack several times now, and uh, very consistent. He starts off with two jump spells. He puts the two jump spells to get him right into the core, and then he'll send a, a group of witches with a few bowlers around the bottom part of the base. In this case, and then a few more uh, bowlers and some witches around the top part, and then he's pushing a big giant group of bowlers into the core with the heroes. And um, using that third jump spell on the backside of uh, of the core, and by doing this, the, the troops don't have any time that they have to stop and try to plow through any of these walls. They're literally jumping through the entire base, and the the troops on the outside of the walls are shooting in over the walls, and they're taking care of that outer layer of defenses. And then because of this thin, long base, those three jump spells that he that he put into the core of the base. These troops just wiped out the entire core without having to go into those uh, those outer compartments. Those outer compartments were taken care of by the troops along the outside. And notice too, there's not any any healers used. I don't even think he had a heal spell. Uh, it was such a quick attack; he didn't have to heal up any of his troops. The the witches kept on spawning skeletons. He used eight witches total, and it looked like he had 15 witches on this attack. It's amazing watching some of these attacks. Use two golems at, at the beginning of the attack to help soak up all that damage at first. Um, you have to be careful when you first start off on these attacks because all, if they if they have the defenses in a, in a good spot, those bowlers can take a beating before the witches can start really producing a lot of skeletons and, and help uh, keep the the defenses off of the bowlers. So again, um, J Floatry, I believe is how you pronounce this. I probably wreck that name every time. Sorry, Jay. Uh, starts off the same way. Now, look at the nice spread of, of the bowlers and the witches. Has the jump spell right going into the core. Taking out that first Inferno Tower. Not having to use any spells in the Inferno Tower at all. And now the Clan Castle troops come out. He sees the Lava Hound. And feels pretty good about the Lava Hound. Because it's not going to really hurt many of those ground troops. Uh, now he's using a jump spell to get back into the core. Pops a lava hound. Uses the ability. Uh, the hero. Uh, wow. I need a script so I can just read it. <laughs> uses the warden ability right when the lava hound pops. So that's kind of where the impact from the clan castle troops would come in. Now he's using a, a free spell in that back end inferno tower to help keep that inferno tower off of the bowlers while they're kind of meandering around the bottom side of the base. And it looks like he's going to have a bunch of witches jump into that last compartment, put the jump spell on that Inferno Tower. And it's a multi-Inferno Tower, which they're really made to stop those witches. They, they can burn on, down those uh, skeletons fast. But he has the Warden up still. Warden is uh, Max Warden with, with the ability, no, not with the ability, just full health. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll down the screen so I can see up top. Really nice. So another great attack. You're gonna see a lot. Uh, I've seen a lot of the slap in in the Legion of Many. Uh, if you're in an, an elite clan that has a lot of Town Hall 11s, you're seeing it too. Because I haven't seen a war that has. I haven't been in a war in a month where someone hasn't tried a slap attack in a Town Hall 10 or 11 spot. <laughs> and I remember when it first came out. Long t not, hadn't been that long ago. Okay, now here's another one of these long style bases in Town Hall 9. This was attacked by Chica. It's number 16 versus number 14. And uh, I think you're going to see a lot of these bases out too. Because these are a lot harder for Town Hall 9s to manage than, than you would think. Uh, this is going to be a Laloon. But this is not just a normal Laloon. This is a, I believe it's called a Pentaloon. Where they have four Lava Hounds. And they have the, the naked heroes. Which means that they're going to put the, the heroes in. And try to trigger the clan castle troops and try to take care of the clan castle troops and the queen if possible without using any spells or anything. It's just the heroes and the heroes' abilities. And he got through the clan castle troops, and that's about it. So the queen is still up. And I know that can be that can be a dangerous thing. But right now, Chica still has one skeleton spell and has 
three rage. So the skeleton spell is going to be used with the rage right on top of that queen. And uh, three lava hounds on top of the first air defense. Looks like they used the haste spell over the queen, which was odd because I haven't seen this yet. Oh, there's a, she had a poison too. So they put a poison over the queen. And the first lava hound just popped. Second lava hound popped. This this is a bunch of lava hounds out there. Wow, these lava hounds are everywhere. Um, looks like there's 40 balloons out there. There was 23, but there's so many balloons left. And now as these lava hounds start to pop, there's tons of pups coming out. And that's why you can do this attack without any minions. Uh, I, I've always suggested that to bring at least 5 minions whenever you're using any kind of lava balloon attack. Just because some of those extremities they'll put the they'll put a, a builder hut in the corner or they'll have some of the some of these uh, storages way out of the way and sometimes just the balloons and everything will path away from them to where they have to pick it up at the end of the attack so having a few minions at, during the attack really helps but with five lava hounds as long as you give the lava hounds time to pop and turn into their second stage of the troop which is the pups then you'll be fine there's so many pups out there Made that look real easy. Next is an anti-3. This is a, a newer type. Of, there's a lot of new type of bases. I, I, I think the new type of bases. This is an anti-3 base. But look how tightly packed it is. And ev all of the defenses are inside those walls. And all the trash buildings are, are spread out on the outside. They have a, they have a couple of like cannons and, uh, and bomb towers on the outside. So this is another. This is an anti-air uh, base. Definitely. Uh, all four air defenses are in the core. You have two air defenses that are max for level 10, Town Hall 10. And But now, uh, coming in real slow, using some minions to help clear out some of the trash buildings, bringing in one or two uh, balloons at a time along with the heroes, try to thin out some of this, some of these out, outer buildings. I'm struggling. Wow, I'm, I'm str struggling to talk, ladies and gentlemen. One of my strong points is talking, and I'm struggling with that today. Uh, so coming in from the top left side and instead of using the surgical deployment which is one or like two balloons maybe three on each of the defenses using three or four on every defense and there's been a lot of talk about the balloons the people say they've been nerfed not once but twice since the June update I haven't really seen it myself but I'm kind of watching them for the first time apparently they're we already knew they got a nerf where they don't do as much damage on the initial hit but now from what I've heard is that they don't move quite as fast either couldn't tell here though because this is really another well executed attack um, you know in Town Hall 10 there's a lot it's not easy to three star from the air in Town Hall 10 if you're if you're up against a base with a player that knows what they're doing um, but if you ha if you use the balloons just right Regardless of how slow they say they are, they're, they they have such great coverage. You just have to really be mindful of the pathing and the, the clan castle troops and of course the infernal towers, which I don't remember if I saw any infernal towers in this one. Because I can't remember from two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, this attack's winding down. This That attack was from Simeo, one of the co-leaders at Legion is many. One of those, one of the great guys over there. There's a lot of players over there that I really enjoy playing with. He's one of them. Uh, great attacker. Next attack is from one of this this guy here, Bongo. He started off in Damage Inc's uh, Feeder Clan, and he excelled to be one of the top attackers in the Feeder Clan, and made it up into Damage, and has just really done well. He's, he's quickly making a name for himself. Um, he had just hit Town Hall Nine. When he came into the clan, so you can see that his heroes, uh, he, he had a max king for Town Hall 8, and now he's got the queen up to level 10. So we're talking about the beginning stages of Town Hall 9. And this is a, this is a maxed out Town Hall 9 uh, defenses. The walls aren't quite maxed. I don't know what the heroes are, because uh, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and uh, starts off the attack by using the dragons, and, and you can see he still has some of the Town Hall 8 ta tactics there. He starts off by using the dragons to kill the clan castle troop. So that's a 40 troop. Um, he uses 40 troops to manage those clan castle troops. But he also manages to take out the queen with it as well. So that's a pretty big thing. Uh, 40 troop 
troop space to take out the clan castle troops and the queen. I think I'll take that. And now, he still has all the air defenses up as he's, as he's starting on the second phase of the attack. So, I mean, this is a pretty risky attack still at this point. So, you're gonna, gonna have to see something pretty special here. Uh, still has two rage, four haste, one skeleton. And the skeleton will actually help out quite a bit now because he doesn't have to use it on the queen. Comes in from two different sides. One lava hound on each side. Here comes all the uh, all the Teslas pop up in the middle. Puts a rage on each side at the same time. Uh, one of the one of the lava hounds pop, and now all the troops are in the core. And there is still a rage spell over the two sides of the core. Now there's a haste spell on top and the bottom of the core. And those defenses they just got annihilated. Because those balloons could not have split up any better. So that was Bungo. He was our number 12 in this war. Jumped up two spots to attack a top 10 player. And uh, gets, a, gets a three star. Now, a few things to remember when using Laloon. Because I've seen this is a really popular attack. But the fail to success rate isn't really great. Um, and it's one of those things where you'll either three star or you'll one star. It's, you know, it's an unfortunate side effect of the attack. Because uh, when, when it fails, then it's usually because there's a lot of stuff around Town Hall and they just get the balloons get annihilated once they get to the core. So you have to be really careful about taking care of the clan castle troops and taking quick care of the queen. The queen can single-handedly take out all those balloons. Uh, next two attacks. This is Lord Liam. Uh, new Town Hall 10. And he's using the flex. He's been using this attack now for a while. And he, he is perfected this attack like flex has himself <laughs> uh, this is this attack we've been using for I don't know I want to say over a year now and I've seen a lot of attacks look real close to it so this is one this is the uh, the two walk attack it's gonna have a bowler walk and a queen walk they're using three healers on each of the walks and with the bowlers a lot of times you'll you'll add maybe um, some people put a witch in with them some people will put a, a wizard or two in just to help them out and the queen she can usually go by herself and you'll try to put a wizard or two in along the way to help her out too it's always good to have a couple of wizards that you can help put along the outside to help these outer troops push around the outside of the base because it, it's vital for them to get around the outside of the base and meet in the back end because a lot of times the troops in the core they get beat up pretty badly as they get into the core but it's uh, but the troops going around the outside can still pick up the three star for you and that's what's so great about this attack is a three phase type attack uh, but it's not three phases as in you're putting troops in during the whole attack kind of like Laloon uh, a lot of Laloon attacks are your you're start it's there's so many different steps to it and there's so many different ways that you have to attack every base it's complex and complicated to explain to players it's hard to do yourself well, this attack, the flex, is kind of like the witch slap where you ha you're going to put a lot of the troops in right at the beginning of the attack and watch the attack unfold and add uh, key troops and spells as needed. So it's a lot simpler. It's a lot less mistakes that are made. And one of the reasons I like this attack so much is it's not really in the meta right now. I think the meta is pretty much the bowler, the bowler witch walk. I mean, the bowler witch, the slap, the bitch slap. Uh, spit it out. Easy. Uh... <laughs> That in Laloon, uh, I'm sure in the next month, Miners are going to come back into the meta with, with the new level on Miners and with level 3 Miners coming to Town Hall 10. But Valkyrie still, you don't hear them talked about a lot, yet this attack is still so viable. It is a killer in Town Hall 9. And in Town Hall 10, we farm with it all the time. And it's it three stars all the time in Town Hall 10. So... It's one of those attacks that aren't being used as much as I think it should be. Um, it's just one of those one of those things that uh, a lot of a lot of clashes based on popularity. And right now, bowlers and witches are so popular that the Valkyries kind of just fell fell away. So, well, now let's talk about Jack. Jack attack two four four nine one. One of the new players in the clan. Also using the flex, learned this about a month ago and has been using it ever since. And I, again, it just what an effective player to, to use this attack so effectively, so fast. Um, now in this case, the bowlers ended up entering the base. 
but they follow behind the king and they follow behind some other troops really nicely so they you know they're kind of squishy but um, if, as long as they follow behind other troops they usually do pretty well they have long range so a lot of times they'll stop and they'll shoot over the walls and allow all the troops to get up in front of them because they don't have that range so they're, they're running out in front in that compartment they're in to try to get to another defense while the bowlers may stop and, and uh, try to take care of something on the other side of the walls that are a little further away so wouldn't recommend trying to get the bowlers inside the walls when when at town hall nine and you have the healers on the bowlers you know you you really want them to go around the outside but uh it's not the worst thing in the world when they do okay so we're about to wrap it up pretty good wars getting ready for the 50 50 that's gonna be next weekend definitely gonna have a couple videos on it once all the one once both clans get together uh, most of the time all the new attacks come out so we maybe we'll have some new attacks some new stuff to show everybody we'll definitely be showing everyone the war be a 50 50 war hopefully we'll get a good elite clan that was damage Yang's 206th win so good job to you guys something else I know I haven't been making a lot of videos been working on this on our new website it's it's gonna be called clash made easy not live yet be live in a few more weeks hopefully by the 7th that was our projected date clash made easy Want everyone to check it out. I think it's going to be a little better than the wiki is. The wiki is not just because I made it, but just because there's a lot of attention being paid to a lot of little details. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't subbed to the channel yet. I appreciate all the guys that have subbed in the past week. We've got about 10 guys that have subbed, so I, I really appreciate you guys. So, big shout out to Legion of Many. Great clan. Couldn't, couldn't ask for anything more visiting a clan. If, if you're out there and you need a clan, if you're Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11, if you've got about 1,500 stars and you 3 star just about everybody, come see Legion of Many. I think they could probably use you. So, appreciate everyone out there. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.